Welcome once again, my fellow manipulators of digital fate. I'm Richie, this is Capricorn. Today's video is one of the hardest videos I've ever had to do. So some of you have probably noticed I haven't uploaded a video in a couple weeks, and there's a really good reason for that. And I'm hoping you guys will stay to the end of this video so I can get all of this out into the aether, get it off my chest, and let you guys know where my head's at. But I want to talk about the past, present, and future of the channel, where I've been and why, what the plan is now, and where I see the channel going in the future. So the burning question to start is, why haven't I uploaded a video in two weeks? So to start, let's talk about the fact that Aftermath was launched two days early, Shadow launched out of nowhere, and really messed up my plans. I was already pretty upset because I had a launch day stream planned for that Thursday for the drop of Aftermath. Um, and I was super busy on Tuesday when they shadow dropped it two days earlier. Um, and out of nowhere, they shadow drop it. And I'm scrambling to try and change my plans to make sure I don't miss out on the new content right away and make sure I can get all my ideas out to you guys as quick as possible. And while I'm in the middle of dealing with that, my computer goes down. Uh, don't know what happened. All of the outputs to the monitors just stopped sending signal. All of my USB ports stopped working. And I spent the next four or five days troubleshooting every single possible permutation of what the problem could be on my own self-teaching myself, crash coursing myself through Google and through looking things up online with what the problem could be, how I might possibly solve it, everything I could possibly do to solve this with the least amount of money as possible. Because financially, I haven't actually been in the greatest shape lately, which it kind of pains me to admit that. I don't, I don't want to look like one of those guys making a video asking for people to feel bad for me or anything like that. But the situation has been what it's been. And I tried everything I could to figure out what was wrong with my PC and get it fixed. I tried the CMOS battery. I tried resetting the BIOS. I tried replacing the RAM. I tried everything, every little trick in the book I could possibly figure out and, and couldn't figure it out and kind of had a nervous breakdown in the process. Um, and there's a good reason for that. Um, ever since about August or September, I made the decision to really double down on my YouTube and Twitch channels for this. Um, I went through some problems getting my business back up and running. For those of you who don't know, I'm a concert promoter, was a concert promoter full-time. I'm now very, very part-time. Uh, Things haven't really panned out with that post-pandemic. As you can probably guess, the concert business, especially for mid-sized tours, which is what I specialize in, hasn't exactly been what it used to be prior to uh, quarantine. And getting things back up and running have been costly and very difficult. And I took a break from streaming for a long time. I took a break from YouTube to try to focus entirely on getting that business up and running again, thinking things would just go back to the way they were in 2019 and 2018, um, and things would be great again. And I poured a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into making that happen, and it just kind of didn't. Um, I ended up spending more money than I made trying to get that business back up and running again, and it was very difficult to come to terms with the idea that that was something I needed to move away from. It's not something I'll ever stop doing 100% because I spent almost 20 years building a reputation in that industry, getting access to bigger and bigger tours with bigger named bands coming through. And I will always talent buy to some degree uh, to stay in that business, to make really good shows happen, bring really good tours to my state, which is New Hampshire. Um, so there's always going to be a little bit of that, but I had to come to the realization that that was not going to be a full-time thing. And last August or September, I asked myself a very difficult question of, you know, you put so much time during quarantine into getting these channels going, your magic channels, this one that you're watching right now, um, and you already got it halfway to where it needs to be, to become a real channel, to become monetized, and like, do you really want to throw that away? Do you really want to ask yourself for the rest of your life, like, what maybe could have been if you just tried harder? Um, I didn't want that regret. 
and as as things weren't working out so well in the concert business which again i am not going to quit completely i'm still always going to do that to some degree but as it wasn't working out so well i i decided that these channels are an opportunity that if i dropped the ball on i would never forgive myself for um and i think i think i just needed to double down and make it happen now that being said we're still a relatively small channel and it's not like this channel brings in a lot of revenue so having to double down on this and basically treat it like a full-time job and put full-time hours into it is what it needed in order to grow but doing so meant that it was going to take a lot of time and energy away from things i could be doing in order to earn money um for a living and that was a sacrifice i was willing to make i was like I don't care. I have faith in the channel. I have faith in the community. There have been so many great responses to a lot of my decks. A lot of people have pointed out reasons why they think this channel is different from other channels and what they see that they can get out of this channel um, that they don't really get anywhere else. And my, you know, unique insight into the kind of decks that I build. And I trust that what they're saying is true and I trust that I have something to offer this community that maybe not a lot of people can offer and you know what I'm, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say I have confidence in myself and I have faith that this channel can be something special do I think I deserve it or that you guys owe me anything of course not of course not but I, I, I you know I just want to double down on the fact that I think I've worked really hard and I think what we have here is special and I really think it can go somewhere. So to get back to what I was talking about, I've been putting all of my time and effort into growing the channel, into making content, and it's way more work than you could probably imagine, honestly, just to get out every single video. There's just so much time that goes into it. Um, so it's kind of put my put, I put myself in a, a bit of a financial bind in that way and that's fine. I'm not going to ask for a handout. I'm not going to ask for anybody to solve those problems. This is a risk that I'm taking, and this is a choice that I'm making to push this forward because I have 100% confidence that as long as I don't ever give up, as long as I just keep pushing out what I know people value, uh, this channel will turn into something special. And that's a dream that I'm not going to let go of, and that's a dream that I'm going to push forward through, and I have 100% confidence in that. But it has put me in not the greatest shape financially for right now. So when all of this happened with my computer, uh, it was very, very difficult to deal with. I tried to solve it, um, you know with the cheapest means possible i tried every single trick in the book i tried troubleshooting i got to a point where i couldn't deal with this on my own and a friend of the channel valley cat danny who i am very grateful for uh came out to my house last weekend brought a backup pc and helped me pull apart every single piece one one piece at a time test and diagnose the problems we got to the bottom of it and we figured out the motherboard was dead and the CPU is dead. Now, this was kind of a big blow to me because uh, I was expecting either one of them to go, which was going to be problematic as far as it's con you know as far as financially is concerned. But um, to have two components go is kind of kicking me while I'm down. So. I scraped up enough money to order a motherboard. I ordered the motherboard. It came in a couple days ago. Um, I did not have enough money to also get a new CPU. And this is where Valley Cat Danny was very gracious and offered to let me borrow their backup CPU so that I could use it for the time being. So, thank you to Valley Cat Danny. I am up and running. I'm able to stream every day. I'm able to make content again. The motherboard came in, I assembled it all my, myself, self-taught, which was kind of crazy. I googled a lot, I took my time, I was very paranoid, but I managed to rebuild the computer, got everything working on my own, and we are back up and running. And I'm, I'm stoked about that, but I have no idea how I'm going to pay for this CPU, and that brings me to the future. I'm not giving up on the channel. 
I really believe this is something special. I know it's beating a dead horse just saying it over and over again, but reading everyone's comments about my decks and, and how they feel about my deck building process really just kind of reinvigorates me and gives me the morale boost I need. And there's no way I'm, I'm, I'm letting go. We're going full steam ahead, but I need to figure out a way to pay for this new CPU before I have to give back the one that I'm loaning. So... I'm going to do something something I didn't expect to do quite this early. Uh, I was going to wait until at least we were at the 2,000 subscriber mark, but I'm going to launch the Patreon. Now, I have cold feet about launching a Patreon because expecting people to just give me money feels a little bit egotistical and like I, I, you know, I just, oh, I just deserve this. Just, just give me your money. It's, I've all... I've always kind of pushed back on the idea and felt like I should hold off as long as possible to launch the Patreon until, you know, I have enough subscribers that it just feels like the natural next course of action. But with everything that's happened recently, with things being difficult financially, and now me needing to get a new CPU as soon as possible before I have to give back the one I'm loaning, I, uh, it really just seems to make sense that I should launch the Patreon now, I should stop holding off on it, and hopefully, if I'm lucky, everyone will be supportive. Head over, uh, subscribe over on the Patreon. The lowest tier is just a buck, and a lot of what I've been Googling and a lot of other Patreons that I've been looking at are suggesting going, like, the lowest tier, like, $3 or whatever, but forget that. I'm gonna do the lowest tier a buck because I don't expect anyone to just give me a bunch of money. You know what I mean? Like, anything you guys... Uh, sign up for anything you guys can throw my way is gonna is gonna mean a lot even if it's just a dollar so the lowest tier is gonna be a dollar I am gonna have some higher tiers with some pretty awesome perks I think ways for the community to get involved in the deck building process and uh, the, the choosing of what deck archetypes to focus on at the beginning of every season have you guys play an integral part in you know curating what the channel's going to do moving forward and get a say in that and then of course be credited in the credits of every single video moving forward as well as on the live streams on twitch all of that good stuff through the patreon and i i don't know how it's going to be received i'm hoping you guys will jump in and support me uh me me being a, a bit of a a pessimist I'm prepared for the fact that it might just be crickets and uh, maybe we'll be in a rough spot, but I'm going to throw myself out there and I'm going to launch the Patreon that should be live now as you are watching this video. I'm going to link it below and I would be super grateful if you could just head over and I'm not even saying sign up, but I would just be grateful if you could just head over and take a look at it and see what you think about it and maybe you could leave me some feedback in the comments below about... Maybe things I could offer that you're not seeing there, or or maybe pricing suggestions, or whatever the case may be. Even just some insight and some critique into how to approach the Patreon and how you feel about it would be super valuable to me, regardless of whether you sign up or not. But hopefully we can get enough subscribers over on the Patreon that we can get this CPU funded sooner rather than later. And I don't have to live in this constant state of anxiety about worrying about being able to keep making content moving forward because that brings me to talking about the future and like i said before we are going to double down on the channel here i'm going to push really really hard to put out a video every single day it won't always be a deck tech uh it will mostly be deck techs i want at least every other video to be a deck tech but i've come to the conclusion that in order for this channel to grow in the way that i know it can to its full potential, I need to put out a video every day. Putting out a new deck every day is really hard when I'm really hard on myself about my decks being something special. I think what this channel specializes in is finding a unique, interesting idea, but it not just being jank. You know, being able to take that new, interesting idea that no one's really dug deep into yet and, and putting our own twists on it and turning it into something that is competitive with the meta decks. Maybe it's not tier one, but at least close. And some, in some cases, tier one or tier S or whatever the hell you want to call it. But 
I think that's what where my strength lies is taking these interesting ideas and then really min-maxing and really beating myself up on making them as special and as competitive as I possibly can and not just settling for, oh, this is a cool combo, let's make a jank deck around it. Um, I think there are a lot of a lot of channels that focus on jank and they're fun and they're great and that's fine, but that's not us. And then there are a lot of channels that focus on, you know, meta decks and playing the best decks at the top of the ladder and constantly pointing those out to their viewers. And I don't want to just be that either because that's kind of boring. I think we live in this sweet spot right in the middle where I can constantly come up with interesting ideas but not have them be jank, have them be competitive with the meta. And every now and then we, ha we get something that can even wreck face on the meta and really run it over and i just i think that's where my bread and butter is i think that's where we, we live and breathe and i think that's where the most value can come from this channel for you guys so that will be the focus i'd like at least every other video to be a deck tech with that in mind and to start exploring ideas for other types of videos to fill in the gaps. Because like I said, I need to launch a video every single day. We've been doing shorts for spoilers when it's spoiler season. That's helped a lot. So thank you to anyone who's been watching those. Um, we're going to continue to try out what I started a couple months ago where once a week... Sometimes it's not every week. Sometimes I skip a week. But on average, once a week, I put out one smaller 10 minute video that's not even necessarily magic centric but i also have a love for console games playstation 5 xbox switch um and i love 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 looking forward to new games hearing juicy rumors seeing a brand new game get announced a new trailer um all that stuff i stay on top of rumors about about everything that's new in console gaming and so I, I started saying, well, that's something else that I love and that I'm passionate about. So maybe at least one of those videos every week can just be sort of a news roundup of what's new in the console gaming gaming world. And I can kind of introduce a little bit of my other passion into the channel. Those of you who are only here for magic, I don't want you to get worried and get scared off. The bulk of our content is still going to be magic you know, if you get six magic videos a week and then one video that's focused on, you know, this news roundup of, of console gaming news for the week, I'm hoping that's not enough that makes you go, oh, I don't care about this stuff. I'm going to unsubscribe. I hope you guys will stay subscribers, you know, and you'll check out the content. And if that kind of video is not for you, just just skip over it. But having another video I can do to fill up one of those daily drops every week that isn't me beating myself up to make the next really good, competitive, unique off-meta deck. Um, it really will help the channel grow and consistently drop videos every day with me being able to still make sure I have more time to build decks so that the decks are better so that the, the quality that some people have come to expect from the decks on this channel doesn't diminish. So I will be looking into trying to figure out other types of videos I can drop throughout the week as well, but at its base, you'll definitely still see at least three or four deck techs every week. It might just be one a day, honestly. If I can do it and the quality doesn't drop, I will try to do a deck tech as often as I can. Um, but we will be exploring here and there videos every now and then with some other stuff to just, just try and find ways to make sure we can drop content every day that's compelling, that's stuff that you guys are going to care about while still keeping the quality of our deck techs in particular uh, at an all-time high uh, and make sure we're delivering the kind of content that you guys bother to come around to watch, uh, the reason that you're here, you know? Um, so that's, that's kind of my focus, and I'm hoping the Patreon is going to help solve some of the short-term problems with uh, paying for the things that need to get paid for while I just dump 50, 60 hours a week into streaming and content creation um, to help the channel get to where I really feel like it can get to. Um, I think with your help, we can, we can make the dream come true. We can get there. All I ask is that you come along for the ride. Subscribe if you haven't, you know. Every time you see a video, it's really easy to just move on to the next, but if you can hit that like button, every single like really helps the algorithm and really helps us get out to that many more people just by liking the video. So I know I say it every single time and it's like beating a dead horse, but liking the videos, uh, commenting on the videos, let me know what, letting me know what you think also helps the algorithm. 
every single way you can interact with the with the videos themselves is going to help the videos go out to even more people because of YouTube's algorithms. So if you can't sign up for the Patreon and don't have the money, I don't blame you. Definitely don't. But you can support in other ways by just clicking likes, leaving comments, and making sure you're subscribed. So that's where my head is at. I'm not going away anytime soon. I'm back to content creation and streaming every day. Um, I'm going to stream right after I finish making this video and catch up with my community over on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash quarantine Capricorn. So that's it for me. Uh, thank you so much. If you watched this entire video, I do really appreciate. Do a uh, hashtag, comment hashtag a real one down below to let me know you made it all the way through to the end. And I'll know that you're one of those people that watches the channel that actually cares. And I appreciate that so much. And yeah, I'm going to go stream. So if you want more from me, catch me over on Twitch because if I'm alive and I'm breathing, I'm there and I'm streaming. And we've got more videos coming super soon. I have a video that I was in the middle of making when all these problems happen happened about uh, how I care about standard, how I feel about standard, what I think about the new standard rotation. Uh, I know it's not new anymore, but it was going to be my next video when all of the problems happened and my computer fried. So I'm going to finish that video, get that video up. And then I have a deck tech that I'm going to pair with that video that I think is going to prove a lot of the points that I'm making in that video about where the standard meta is going to be at. Um, and I don't want to give it away completely, but look forward to that. And I do think I offer a little bit of insight on standard rotation, some things that I think a lot of the other content creators aren't necessarily taking into account. So look forward to those videos. And then once those are out, we'll be right back to the next standard deck tech with aftermath cards. I've had two weeks of thinking up some pretty crazy harebrained ideas. So look forward to that. The content is coming. Cap is back. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for checking out my channel. We're working hard to get to 2,000 subscribers now because we blew right past 1,000. So make sure you like and subscribe. Also, if you'd like more magic deck text, that's somewhere over there. And if you'd like to see what else the channel's been up to lately, that's somewhere over there. Also, subscribe, circle below. Do all the things.